Yeah, I'm good. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm okay. Y- you're fine. I'm okay. You know, you're just chilling, vibing. <laughs> What's up, fine. guys? As Welcome we to love. Open Up with Candy, yeah, where are. Mondays are I feel like what? I'm going to get distracted the by the I echo ask. in the background. So hey, if anyone in the office is listening, please yeah, I'm good. <laughs> reduce I mean, the I'm volume okay. so that we don't have to hear ourselves talk. Anyway, I'm trying. What do you mean? You have to demand for what you want. I, I feel like I'm going to get distracted and it literally trips by me out. the yeah, echo in the back camp, so, so if it anyone in the office is like, please to be cater to your needs, obviously. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, yesterday. Yeah. How was it for you? Terrible, actually. Like, it looked bad. Oh, oh, you didn't enjoy the race? No, the race was nice. It was good. There were some overtakes. Right. Five so second penalties. Hella. Bro, hella. <laughs> Everyone was just going off. Everyone like was at just a point, they should have just like. Should have been, even, even Hamilton was like, yeah. is everyone else getting these? Everyone and was then his engineer was like, yeah. Everyone it's it's is. not just you. But um, yeah, so guys, yesterday, as you know, here on Open Up, by the way, welcome to Open Up with Kami Mukendia live every day, except Tuesdays, 10 45 a.m. to 12 p.m. And we're live on Radio 254, 24 7, Kenyan content, Kenyan music. So, usually on Mondays, Adi and I go through the previous Grand Prix and then debate about whatever we debate about. So, that's at yeah. Formula One for any of you rookies. <laughs> Are you a rookie? No. no I think you're okay. Oh my God, it's been Adi. a few years. Respect me. No, yeah. Respect I'll me. respect you. A bit. I mean, I still could not fully explain to you what. Also, there's some things I can't explain. Yeah, about. like some overly technical things. So yesterday was the Austrian Grand Prix uh, Red Bull Racing Circuit. Did you yeah. see the, the the cloud of orange smoke? And hella smog. racism and sexism. What's that? Did you hear that? You didn't see that story? No. Like, there were reports of sexism and racism in the crowd. You see, I disappointed, know, just, but, is, yeah. but not surprised. It's just so. <laughs> this it just had to happen at Max's. Tr- I was just about to say, like, track, bro. Need I say more? No, need I say more? But it's. I feel like Austrians have that type of vibe. I mean, ugh, yeah. I I would like to think that Austrians are more tolerable, but. But Hitler was from there. Okay. He was literally born there. Okay, but he was raised in Germany. But shout out my Germans. I love German people. The non-racist ones. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Germans gave us you a lot. They, they gave us um yes. Shout out Leone. Shout out Jules. Shout out Greta. Greta. You, you forget. <laughs> That's definitely a German. Uh, and Le- okay, fine. You forget I went to that white house school. Swear jar. Yeah, but um, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. Verstappen is still gonna win the championship. Like I'm seeing stuff like oh Ferrari. I mean, like luck is back in the. Title no, race. It's not Ferrari will never let Leclerc have a good first day. First of all, you can't even he can't even depend on his car to finish the race, man. Can we? So how is he going to? Bro, pain for signs only, only pain. So yeah. the well, final he's actually podium. got in some form as well. He's and he then, gained momentum from like yeah. his first win. His first win, he was on top of the world. Everything was great, and then did you hear him scream? No. No, no. Yeah. Hate to see it. It was. Uh, I don't know. Your pain. It wasn't that painful. It was, o- it was For okay. For me, it was painful. Why? So I was happy. Like, I was about to overtake my guy. What is wrong with you? <laughs> so, the final podium was Leclerc won, obviously, Verstappen two, Hamilton third, Russell fourth. Had, I, oh, I, can't, I can't be happy about a Mercedes 3 no, 4. Okay. Yeah. That's how far they've dropped. Okay. Three, four is now like okay. the heights, man. I actually can't remember how Max drove. Did he even drive well? Oh, it's just like a normal Max day. Nah, his tires were messed up. I honestly, he was being, though he was being overtaken quite easily. I've never seen that before. Wait. Like, 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 is actually. Is actually. I think he's on his level. On Max's around level. Around, l- around it. Are you serious? Yeah. Is it because, is it because like no, there there were streets on that circuit, I reckon. Yeah, I was about this to was say. supposed to be a Red Bull. Yeah, track. yeah it literally it is was Red Bull. To, literally Red a Red Bull, Bull track. <laughs> <laughs> and but Ferrari yeah. said one two until tragedy struck. Yeah, I mean, 
what you expect it's ferrari ferrari is like man united like they have history but then yeah they they have that hold that traditional hold yeah, of people yeah but then they are just not good anymore it's and it's hard to take it's hard to I mean, okay, so we did have three DNFs that race. So there was Paris. Haha. <laughs> Shout out your guy. But I did I did That's feel bad cuz Checo's a babe. Come on, man. Ugh. Russell is just he knew what he was doing. You're going to blame Russell. Where was Paris supposed to go? There was no space and Paris was ahead. Okay. <coughs> you have to always leave the space. No, he, so oh, space, oh, you're talking about leaving space. Yeah. Okay. Not not a Red Bull fan talking about leaving you space. You have to leave space. Yes, Messed you up do in these have days, to. Leave space. You've noticed he's matured. It's not like I think after the way he won the the championship, he's like, let me at least win it fair. Like, let me sh- just show these guys stop that it. like no, stop without that. stop that narrative. What are, what are you talking heck? about? Ugh. What narrative? That he didn't win it fair. Come on. No, he deserved to win the championship. Not that way. We've talked about this. But the, the way he won it in the end had nothing to do with him. It had everything to do with Michael Massey. Exactly. <laughs> he just did what he had to do <sighs> when the opportunity came. What was anyway, he supposed to do? That's true. Yeah. Come on. And <laughs> Hamilton could have pitted. People don't ever realize this. If Hamilton just pitted, he would have come out with fresher tires. I mean... In a rocket ship. Because that thing was a rocket ship it, at the end. Yeah, actually Why did he just pit? He should have pit. You know, I actually thought that he should have pitted. Yeah, he should have. And then I don't really care about this, although I do have to. Um, La- Latifi was also a DNF. What no was that about? Cares. Yeah, Lucia, I don't even, even remember that. It. Yeah, pain for Vettel as well <laughs> when he He's someone hit him. Yeah, they just spun um, out. Gasly. Sunod- oh, Gasly, Gasly, Gasly hit the him. same way. You see, these youngsters don't know how to leave space, bro. Youngsters. Yeah, Gasly and what's the other guy's name? Russell. Leave <laughs> <laughs> space on the outside, please. I'm Especially sure if the guys. Ahead. Was it last weekend? Didn't Alvin cause a major collision? The, no, the show one. Yeah, no. Last that weekend. Was, that was not Alvin. It was uh, Russell and who's the other guy on the left? Not Russell, still being brought yeah, up. He's just always. He's just. <laughs> old, he's a <laughs> maniac. <chaos>. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to act Come calm and collected, but he's actually the most manic. Yeah, out he of just drove into. He did not. Yeah, just no, last that weekend. Was, that was not Alvin. It was. Uh, Are you referring to the Bottas thing? No, like oh. yesterday he said that. Uh, oh, into him. Russell is that is that driving <laughs> <He's> okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he likes to act oh calm and collect. Old. Anyway, well, that is F one news. <laughs> That's F one news uh, from me and Addy. Back to you in the studio. Back to you. St- no, I was just talking about how would you feel if like Americans, if we had to listen to Americans commentate F one? I would rather die. Have you ever had Americans commentating football? No. I even. I've heard that for some reason they commentate like Asian table tennis. Okay. And they're like, oh, what a rubber smash. <laughs> and so they're like, okay. Why that's you, how why I know you watch on, ESPN. Bro. Why are you watching ESPN? I, I don't watch ESPN. Okay, I do sometimes. But when just for like the... Like NBA, NFL. Yeah, I don't watch the NFL. I feel like... Oh, interesting. I feel like... um. Americans should just stick to their sports, commentating their sports. You, you just commentate on your baseball. They're actually good at bas. Like I can imagine. A British bas. Yeah, Crofty. <laughs> commentating on basketball, like they're just things that you'd say. Yeah, like uh, even Crofty's phrase is like, "Oh, there goes Hamilton for the switcheroo." Yeah. Can you imagine that? That's it the good old switcheroo. Good you know, old switcheroo, intent, bro. You know what I've been referencing the past week. What? And through goes Lewis Hamilton. That was uh, actually iconic. That was un- it would have but you see why and here comes Sebastian Vettel is still better is because Vettel won the race. Okay, yeah, it's true. It it so hit it hit it just, harder. It was just, yeah, and there were like four of them. Can you imagine? Okay, it, it was also that was also dramatic. Like it felt like it felt like that was a moment, like he's actually still alive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I Never doubt the goat. Are you kidding me? I mean doubt him for what? To to push and give results. Oh yeah, he'll give results. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And to be the best. You know, ever. I cause, uh, and I just know like these like F one commentators are so British. Yeah. Love it. Because they were talking about oh my god Hamilton has just pitted, he may like win this race because like like and like in Silverstone. Mm. And I was thinking, okay, yeah, that's true. But also Perez is literally right behind him and has On also just neck. fitted. Yeah. And he's in a Red Bull, bro. Like that I honestly knew 
Like once that safety car came, Perez could like. I just. I thought he could. He would even win the race. You reckon? I thought he would. Interesting. I thought he would. Was I, I always forget where Max is because I just assume. No, Max just, that <laughs> that he was having he was demons. having a stinker. <laughs> he was <laughs> battling peasants <laughs> like Schumacher, bro, <laughs> for aid. No, Schumacher is a menace. He's actually shown hey, that he yo, will defend. No, he's actually good. He's good. Man. He he's will show that he will defend. Like he's on a roll. So he was what P eight last time. P six. P six. P six yesterday. Shout out. This one is for you, Schumacher. This one is called um, 4 a.m. at Omokes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's dedicated oh, to Mick Schumacher, son yes. of seven-time world champion Michael Schumacher. Coolio. We'll be right back. This is Open Up with Cami, where Mondays are for the boys. <laughs> Lazima tu omoke Bad girls in my pockets Yeah, sometimes the bookier situations are the most difficult situations to get it's out of the way It's 4 a.m. at omoke Lazima tu omoke Bad girls in my pockets Some things are getting really bookie oh. between us, not gonna lie And shorty tryna get loud From a nigga like future Live it up, live it up Why you tryna get loud From a nigga like future Baby girl, in your mind To match up around one, but to Jachoka to match up around two. Cash on you convoca basi low tani do. Do back in meweza basi, she can me go. Boko in meweza basi, baby come through. Vile me sita kuachana, we huni ya china, sita kuachana. Hatu wachani, babe, but your boyfriend. Mse fulani too, me I'm your boyfriend. Ati mololo, you're a liar, baby chaza chini. Ati mololo, huni pendi, baby chaza chini. This is not love, man, it doesn't feel right. You don't even give a fuck about my feelings when we fight. Lakini, baby, here time, sisi tulikuwa maji. Nazika shuka, nika wacha utiaji. Asubuni, liku text, come over. We can have this conversation when we're sober, but we'll be sure. What the fuck you doing up at four in the morning? If you know I'm sleeping, why the fuck you keep calling? I thought we were done, yeah. I'll give you the right to put do in my crib in the morning. Thought I was tripping on some Romeo shit. Look at how you're tripping, cause I'm done with your shit. Now they know that you don't love yourself. And how can you not value yourself, girl? I relate with that I'm okay, nigga. Dog skin nigga, ayy Doing all these things cause you really wanna slide Cause you can't do better, won't do better I need some head and some moral support from you right away It's funny how women they switch up on you when you're right away And now you're here screaming and shit It's 4 a.m. at Omoke Ni lazima tu Omoke Riding girls in my pockets It's 4 a.m. at Omoke Ni lazima tu omoke Bad girls in my pockets It's 4 a.m. at omoke Ni lazima tu omoke Bad girls in my pockets Ni lazima tu omoke Bad girls in my pockets
what you get So look closely Found a reason To forget To look for me All these years You've been no fool To ignore me Now you're coming back to me
saying If we're on the same page And we can be the dookie Promise not to tell nobody You'll be the only Just promise not to leave me This is Open Up with Tammy McKendia live every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from 10.45 to 12 p.m. here on Radio 254. And Mondays are for the boys here on this show. I'm here with Addy. Say hi, Ads. Hi. Hi, Ads. <laughs> and he is my resident man that I pull out of the cupboard <laughs> whenever I need to debate anything to do with men and women. So... I found this tweet a while ago. Actually, a friend of mine found it. And I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. I was actually going to do it on Thursday with a girlfriend. But I thought it's just, I feel like it's better. You'd just be talking to yourself, basically. Yeah, like <coughs> it wouldn't, I wouldn't have a different perspective. It wouldn't be as entertaining. So like, whatever. So here's a tweet. And this is a whole topic of conversation today. And it's basically, do men only befriend attractive girls either to smash them or for social capital? Mm. Lol. So, this girly tweeted, okay, I'll bite. I've rarely seen straight men with female friends that they aren't attracted to slash aren't stereotypically attractive. Even if the man in question wants nothing to do with her, other men do. Her desirability... And his proximity to her works as a form of social capital for him. Um, there's a lot more where that came from. But what do you think of that, Adi? Before I carry on. Do you agree? <coughs> no, there are definitely guys that like can only <laughs> can only hang out with like attractive women. But I don't know. The social capital thing is obvious. That's the one that's confusing. What does that even mean? It means basically <coughs> like if you're seen with like a peng girl, you're automatically like valid. Like I don't know why you men always have like, see I can't even curse. It's You're always trying to uh, measure out. Right. I was going to use a very phallic thingy. Mm. But you knew, you know, yeah, you know what I was. What yeah, say, exactly. Yeah. So why is it that you're always trying to impress your boys? And like girls are also a, a way of you guys doing that. Not only getting with girls, but like if you see that, if if other guys see like you hang out with really attractive girls, they're gonna want to befriend you to get to those girls, or at least they'll see you as like someone that's like worthy of being around those. Girls. Do you do you see what I mean? It's like we're. we're Attractive girls are just put there for decoration to, like, validate your social standing. No, I, like, I can see where... I can see... It's like, where, why? Of think, being a I can think of some guys that probably do that. Right. Yeah. But, like... Name them. <laughs> like I can name them. <laughs> 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 validate <laughs> your <laughs> social yeah. standing. Um, but for me, like... No, I, like okay. I can see have where I ever been attracted to I some of my see. friends. Yeah, I can <laughs> from I look at around, a, some look around at your friends, right. yeah. your close but female like, friends. Mm. Are they? Name them. <laughs> 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 I can name them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they name them. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I didn't um, but become friends with them because they were conventionally okay. attractive. Some have I ever been attracted to some of my friends? I can see already. Adi, look around, look around at your friends. But like your close female friends. Some of them I only kind of found attractive after I got to know them. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't like say, I "Oh my God, we got friends." And then, like, like when you got some to of them, the way bad. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. I can I see you. I wouldn't even do them. <laughs> 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 I don't know, Adi. But, but what like, drew the, 
what drew some you to them some of them I only kind of found attractive look after I got to know them but they look good they some of them like say oh my god get, she's actually some of, attractive she's most of my friends like, when you got to know <laughs> them the vibe was I started bad. being friends with when they were like I wouldn't have been friends with them yeah it's 13 or 14 like they weren't in our physical like us you know what I'm saying like the way we looked yeah like it's not like I was dealing with Beyonce some of them let's get it wasn't like that most of my friends I don't know man it's just I started being friends with when they were like it okay I can yeah, see guys that would make friends. Like, I like, know guys who, like us. You know what I'm saying? Like, the exactly. way we look at back to Yeah, like, it's not like that. I was <laughs> dealing with Beyonce <laughs> <laughs> back then, <laughs> bro. It wasn't like that. You said so, you yeah. I don't know, man. It's just... Yeah. Like, only be friends. We know it, them. Okay. okay. I, know I can see guys that would make friends. Name them. Like, I know guys who... No, don't name them. I'm not friends with them. But, like, at all. But, yeah, it's... But why? Why Why would they do that? Why do they only be friends? Because guys here are weird. Like, I even noticed it this weekend. It's yeah. just like, like I told you, it's just, l- I don't know why we feel like it's a group thing. Do you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Like we're all for some reason in a group and like well, we have to try and see, find a spot. Okay. Do you know what I'm like, saying? Like seem, like come across <coughs> as a way or like yeah. find your place in that group. Yeah. I don't know. It's just... It's like a hive, bro. In a and it shouldn't be like that. It is. It's like a hive and mind. And I hate it. Let me tell Nairobi you, Nairobi is a hive mind. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, there were guys Even I met this like weekend. Like, come across as a way. Or who, like honestly, we've never place been place friends in, in life. Yeah. I don't and know. And I had a team. like, yo, man, no. Like, it's like a hive, bro. bro. And it though. shouldn't be like that. It is. It's like a hive and mind. And I hate it. Let me tell Nairobi you, Nairobi is a hive mind. But not homies, man. It's bad. Like, there were guys I met this weekend. So he came to Who, honestly, we've never been friends in life. Yeah. Where's the energy, guy? Yeah, and I had a yo, man, no, like, literally, if either of us are kidnapped, the other one won't even lay out. Like, what are we pretending? If I hear yeah, if tomorrow I go into it and I see that guy is kidding up, you know what I'm saying? You think so I'll lose sleep. Like, you're like, yo, I did not so much. Yeah. Where's the energy? I did not so much stuff to on, say. Bro. Why would you say Literally, that? Literally, if okay, okay, either of us are kidding up, it's extreme. Yeah, that one won't even say out. Like, well, you know, personal. If I hear, if tomorrow I go into it and I see that guy is kidding up, Right, so we've already said um, this person believes that even if the man in question wants nothing to do with the girl, other men do. Her desirability and his proximity to her works as a form of social capital for him. I think that's just a brilliant point. Anyway, is it? I th- I think no. So. Honestly, it maybe it just ma- you know it gives you know it, it just like the way she's smart, yeah it sounds <laughs> but it's not bro. I'm, I've never heard a guy tell no, me. How I've heard of a guy say, "Okay, I'm hanging out with her because she's attractive, and you can see it happening." Yeah. But I've never heard of a guy saying, I'm hanging out with her, I hate hanging out with her, but it makes other niggas think like... You think a guy would ever admit that? No no man would ever admit that, <coughs> yeah, I'm actually... But they didn't admit that like, I'm hanging out with her just because she's attractive, but you can see But it. you can tell. But but why? Why? Because she's attractive. What does that attractiveness do for him if they're just friends? That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to unpack. Mm. It works a, as a point of if being if valid with the boys. Looking for an avenue. Okay, which now I didn't even want to get into this this early, but effort, let's do it. <sighs> Addy, mm. did you befriend your female friends so that you had a way to smash? Honestly. No. But there's some who I went into it trying to smash and then it didn't work out and then I became friends with them. Given the opportunity, then you mm. would smash your friends. Some of them, but not in like I'm trying to do it. That's but the thing so is, can listen, we ever just, just be hang on, hang okay, on. Okay, okay. But it's not like I mean, for me. <laughs> for me, I don't. The platonic line is just like. It's that up to me to decide. What do you think is platonic is not what a normal human being no, is I just honestly think it's up for discussion is all I'm saying. It doesn't have to be so deep. Oh Everything is so deep for some reason, man. That's why we're all miserable. The lines are just so big. <laughs> <laughs> we can't really be ourselves. Come on, bro. Okay, Loki, I, I agree with that you wider know what I'm discussion. Like, hey, come on. We we make everything so deep and it's like so serious. There's like, like oh a think God. piece every every yeah, single hey. day on Twitter. I mean it's great for me who needs content, <laughs> but honestly it's so mentally draining. Bro, like if I go hook up with my friend who says that's not platonic. It's not though. Came from a platonic place. Shut shut up, Addy. 
It's all about the energy. Shut and up. who's deciding if it's my action? I'm the one. It was only I'm the board of directors. It's me. No one's gonna tell me it's not platonic. I seriously, I'm I'm regressing this whole Mondays for the boys <laughs> thing. No, I'm just saying. Forget the boy child. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Okay, let me just finish because I'm I'm getting very worked up now. And uh, let me just finish with this thread so you actually understand what I'm trying to say. Mm. So this girl goes on to say, I think my circle of male friends and all their female friends are very likely. Um, wait, I sorry, let me tell again. I think my I think of my circle of male friends and all their female friends are like very attractive. It's weird. Why don't you put any effort into women who you don't deem as attractive? Obviously, this isn't all men, but a vast majority that I've encountered at least. I really can't name a single guy I know in real life that has female friends that aren't quote unquote attractive and that doesn't automatically make you feel, make you a bad person. Oh, it doesn't automatically make you feel like, oh my God, guys, I can't. I needed my coffee. I'm trying to cut down on coffee and this is why. Anyway, that doesn't make automatically make you a bad person, but it's an interesting observation. And generalization. So they have admitted it's a generalization. Yeah, obviously, that's that's the women's signature. Bro. Okay. Sh- <coughs> generalization. Okay. They wake up literally reciting generalizations <laughs> okay. in their bedrooms. Shana. Instead okay. of affirmation. Yeah. <laughs> it's just generalization. What can I say about men at the group today? <laughs> Seriously. How can I generalize the entire population of men on this uh. planet? They yeah. wake up anyway, literally I reciting generalizations I just think in okay. their bedrooms. <laughs> <Shana. Okay, laughs> Instead but, okay, of yeah, affirmation. Going <laughs> down that road. What okay, can I say about me. men as a group today? <laughs> Which conventionally unattractive yes. How can I generalize the entire population attention. of men on this uh, planet? Anyway, I... Do <laughs> you want me to just <laughs> name it? Do it. If I'm going to say... Obviously, okay, I Okay, but okay. We're going down that road. Okay, let's hang out with... That you Which think conventionally unattractive women, women do you think don't, are okay. not getting attention? Because you've differentiated. You've said they only attra- you only hang on to the attractive out. women. I think <laughs> you want me to just name it? Do it. it. So okay. If I'm going to say, obviously, you know, I can't. Only, you'll see Point a guy out to the Which you know, okay, women you think you should be hanging out to women? That you think okay. are conventionally okay, unattractive. Okay, 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 no, you okay. tell me. Okay, Because you have to be able to do both. You don't just say, okay, they only have attractive women. I think men are more inclined to do the opposite of women. So, if a guy only hangs out with conventionally unattractive women, label him as that. If we're going to label this guy as someone who. No, you tell me. Because you have to be able to do both. You don't just say, okay, they only hang out with attractive women. Okay, I'm actually stumped that. Do the opposite. So I, I don't. I, I because women, don't by the way, think all women are attractive. Usually, they'll literally. I think we're we're less, yeah, judgmental when it comes to that. Yeah. Because so obviously, then you'll think all guys are hanging out with attractive women. That's all an women interesting are argument, Adi. Seriously. That's a very interesting argument. So I have an opinion coming in from a um, good friend of ours, I should say, Jeremy. He says, "Hey." Tell Addy to stop lying. There's no way that can come from a platonic place. If I was circling back to the yeah, platonic place. Maybe for you, man. Come on. Man. No, but Addy, I think there you were just running amok with that. I There's no. I actually wasn't. Has it ended? Okay. So you're Sometimes saying. I've, I've hooked up with some friends before. Has it ended badly? Yes, sometimes. But that's because it like. Stopped being platonic because of the lines created. So you're I saying like you, you can have your own mm. definition of being platonic. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Adi, that doesn't work in a normal this society. It's not a law, bruv. Platonic is not even a law. Yes, it's sometimes it's but subjective. that's because it. Okay, like, I'm gonna play one song because and then the I'm gonna let created. Jeremy. So you're saying like I you you can have your own in. definition of and being platonic. And we're really gonna unpack yeah. and divulge this work because this is not society law, getting and I'm platonic is not I'm even irritated. a law. It's literally because you're actually it's saying subjective. Or maybe okay. you're phrasing things I'm gonna in a play smart one way. And then I'm gonna let Jeremy call in on form today. I need to figure out how to retaliate because I'm not having this. We're really gonna unpack and divulge this because this is actually getting and I'm to be having. Season, because you're actually saying, right, or maybe you're phrasing things in a smart way. Mm. But I, I need to out how to right, this is mine by Lisa Dorno, and I am going to be having a call in. I'm just a night gone in the making, but what's a night into a world that's stuck inside a living daydream? 
year and <laughs> we're discussing why do men do they that was <laughs> only friends blinking girl and lisa yeah. conventionally yeah. attractive girls Lisa Dornoir. and i've actually this just um found a point coming with india where mondays are for the boys for. and i'm searching for because i need a yeah, backup because i had to go to my messages because i was <laughs> discussing this is a very why good do men call. do they <coughs> only and i just want to this is just perfect yeah. conventionally like attractive girls. 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 and i've actually just found a point that I'm shut up adi i'm wondering is it yet backup okay i need a backup the topic is blah 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 so i said it's a hundred percent true straight men tend to befriend girls they're attracted to even if they don't go there with them going there is passing that platonic boundary getting with them there's always a small chance like if given the opportunity straight men would get with their female friends it's an av- it's a very important part of it right i then go on to say you're automatically up a few points within society if you're seeing if you're seen with a pen girl and i see it all the time in nairobi especially to other men all of a sudden they start paying attention like ha huh, that guy moves around with this shawty okay, so let me get to know okay what's the reward for that what social capital approval from yes you, from your men you guys uh, always do things which for men approval. honestly who even which guys which guys Adi, which guys if you're I telling me and think? that it's not true that guys no, it's true. I see it for sure. Right, but it's just right. stupid. Is and I I'm see saying, it in man. friends of mine where they're always like, this guy talks to me to get with my friend. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, let's say if you're like conventionally not the most attractive human being, but then you're the girl in the group that has all of like the most attractive friends, right? Mm. Guys will try to get to you, like go through you to get to those girls as well. That's another way guys maneuver sneakily to now get in with the conventionally attractive girls tell me i'm wrong no, i've seen that i see it all the time i've seen it and that's yeah. such a big point and that's what pisses me. <laughs> like men can really use a girl just to get to her larger group of friends that's another way is it using her like to like becoming friends with her so that they yeah ah, okay becoming friends with her so now she's in with the now he's in sorry with, with the girls He's trusted. He he's make trusted. Moves from exactly. The inside. He gains <coughs> information he's in the on pocket. the girls. But Adi's yeah. out here saying that you know. No, that that obviously does happen. Like I can't fight things if they're happening. I'm just saying personally. Like that's not how I'd personally operate. You've done that. I've done what? You've done that with me. Like, hey, so you talk to your friend for me. That's because you're my friend, not for (laughs) me. I did not say (laughs) talk to your friend for me. Just give me an alley-oop. An alley-oop. Come on, give me a nice alley-oop. Even if you ask me, like, if, like, you're one of my friends, you're feeling the vibe. A sweet alley-oop. I'm having one of these um, very self-aware Addy moments of, does this matter? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's true honestly <laughs> let me tell you yeah like does honestly, this actually matter not let me t- when you actually think about things usually they actually don't matter like people yeah. think about the platonic lines what's the alternative i was telling you the alternative is what i meet someone who i don't even like like that right and then they like oh cheat on me and stuff and um people are crying in clubs that's the alternative that's what you want instead so you'd rather get with your close friends I mean, the end of the day, some of my close friends' long-term relationship, it's going to be one of them. <coughs> okay, well, no. No, it is. No. I'm telling you. Never date it inside your friend group. <laughs> <laughs> You're in for yeah, the long game. I'm in for the long game. Like, right now, I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? But, like, <laughs> when things hit the fan. So, this is exactly what I'm saying. Why could you just have platonic friends? Why do you want to... You see, you're playing the long game I, I, with some no, of no, your no, girlfriends. No, 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 I'm not. I'm yes, not. you are. You're playing I the long game. I didn't enter playing the long game. I entered to be friends and I've gone out and I've not found the same connection. If I find the same connection somewhere else, I, well, of course I wouldn't do it. But it's just an option at the back of my mind. Oh, well, like the backups. Yeah, if like... Adi has like a, <laughs> a handful of girl, the girls. The yeah, girls are like, like four you know, or five, not that many. <laughs> like is that a handful? Yes, that's a many. Handful. <laughs> and that's you've all like told us the same thing. <laughs> it's just and like bro. By the time we're thirty, if we're not, if no, things no. are thick. Honestly, like the way things are going right now, Kami, <laughs> give it five years. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be going again, becoming for family functions, Easter, holiday, Christmas. I'm as telling you, you. Yeah. As you 
conversation. Come with man. At I'm going, I'm having nice conversations, laughing with my female friends, and I'm going out, and it's so dry. At the point, you have to just look at what's in front of you. Wait. See, Adi, I just think it's because you haven't put yourself out there with other girls. No, I have. There's a reason. I literally have done it, and man. It's just, it's not sustainable. Can you tell them what happened with the girl you were someone recently. speaking? Yeah, recently. Oh, yeah, recently. Me. <laughs> See, I Adi, I an, you see, I was given an alley oop. I was living my life peaceful, living li- my life like it's golden. You know what I'm saying? And then someone, one of my Could you friends. Tell them what happened with this one I didn't even go to to ask. Yeah, recently, yeah, actually, yeah, 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 ye
I think because if think you wouldn't, <laughs> if you wouldn't, <laughs> this argument is is done. It's done. Okay. Because you wouldn't <laughs> be able to identify a guy who is not doing it. So everyone is just well finished. Everyone is doing it, or rather, everyone tries to do it because, like, unfortunately, and this is the messed up part about it: the you're not useful to people if, in this specific context, if you don't have conventionally attractive women around you, you don't. You get into parties easier. Oh my God! Let me even tell you a story. A story. It was someone's party, birthday, la in May, and there was like some beef over plus ones and who can come. Who was told? And it was a guy's party. Who was told they can come? Oh, you're with uh, yeah, yeah, come here. Uh, yeah, yeah, the girls. Come, 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 come. Then us girls now are talking to them nicely, like, oh, can um our guy friend come? Can this? And they start. <laughs> he doesn't want. They start tensing, like, Hell no, bro. you know, the numbers are a bit. But then if I call back in another fifteen minutes, and I'm like, oh, um, my friend Shiko is in town. Can mm. can she come? Oh, she go, yeah. She's because what are the what are they thinking? I want as many pretty girls at my party to make my party seem legit, so that when you when you take a snap, it's very hella pleasing. Hella women, you know Sweet who's ones. guilty for this? Those guys that hang out with only light skinned girls. I know you know who I'm talking mm, about. Yeah. Those group of people that exclusively get with. <laughs> and only hang out with light skinned girls. And I say light skinned like mixed race or like Ethiopian. From ca- Kami and lighter, basically. From ca- <laughs> Am I the swatch? Yeah, you're the, you're Am the, I the, you're the boundary. I'm actually the darkest of the lights. If you if you think about it. Okay, let's not even She's done. trying to fit in with us, fellas. No, no, no. I'm I'm just saying like how funny is that? It's true. How funny is that? That's why you're the line. <laughs> Once you cross that line, some homies aren't feeling it. it's crazy, bro. There was a time I was I hung out. I went on a night out with um only like mixed race people and white people and How Indian people. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I live many lives in this Nairobi. Yes, yeah, so there was a time I did that, and um they all thought I was mixed because I had my hair out, but it was like slicked back. And you know when I slick back my hair, it looks like I have waves. But anyway, so they assumed because everyone around us was mixed or foreign that I was too. And obviously had a bit of, a, of an accent. So they were like, oh, yeah, Kami, where are you from? I said, Kenya. They're like, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, like, what's your ethnicity? No, they wanted like, you to say Maldives. I'm and uh, you, bro. Like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> the other expecting, yeah, I'm, I'm actually from the Maldives. Uh, and people were like, oh. And I found that so interesting. So very quick aside, but uh, we're your live listening to open up with Kami McKendia very off the rails because Mondays are for the boys. Yeah, I'm going to play X by Nikita Caring. I don't know. I feel like it fits, you know. And we'll be right back to wrap up the show. Hear the opinions of a few listeners, and yeah, we'll be right back in a bit, guys. Make a mistake, shine away I would have held you closer if I could You're bitter than I could ever taste Now I'm in love and I'm ever wasted I would have held you closer if I could And even when we try to throw this all behind I find myself inside of your arms again
We just break that back and wind on me now You already know that I'm yours Shea butter baby, of course Shea butter baby Your mama gave birth to a princess for sure You already know that I'm yours Shea butter baby, of course Shea butter baby Shea butter baby and That's why I need Everything that you claim to me Shea butter, shea butter, shea butter Shea butter baby and That's why I need Everything that you bring to me Shea butter, shea butter, shea butter, baby, baby. Rip your wrist as we fly to the islands Baby, really do what I say, yeah Baby, really do what I need, that Baby, really know how to please me She like when I get so aggressive I really understand what she needs That's why she drive me crazy That's why she like when I go grip on her waist Drunk on Hennessy at her place When she whine, girl, I go When she whine, girl, I go crazy Then grip on her waist Sipping Hennessy at her place when she whine, go, I go When she whine, baby, just shake that ass and whine on me now You already know that I'm yours Shea butter, baby, of course Shea butter, baby Your mama gave birth to a princess for sure You already know that I'm yours Shea butter, baby, of course Shea butter, baby Shea butter, baby and that's why I need Everything that you bring to me Shea butter, shea butter, shea butter Princess, we shall be We already know that Everything that you bring to me Shea butter, shea butter, shea butter I got a lot to do. 
Girl Cammy, where Mondays are for the boys, and I'm here with. Uh, I did like, still, 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 me. still here, still here. Still I just love the pause every time. Um, <laughs> I, I give you that cue to uh, go. So um, we had some very impassioned listeners that wanted to give the two cents, and you know here, well, we're here for you know a dialogue, a discourse, if you may. Mm. So we'll always <laughs> invite any, anyone and everyone to share their opinions. So let's see if I can get this set up real quick for you guys. One second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Strong that's, start. That's, <laughs> Strong yeah, start. Like straight away. Straight away. Not many stories. All right, let's see. No, still not. Bear with guys. Oh, you know me, I'm not a tech girly. All right, guys, you're just going to have to listen to it through my mic because <laughs> this is not working. Not and happening. I spent so much time trying to do. Oh, wait. Nope. <laughs> but I'm so happy we've, no. we've heard Addie's Alive three times. I know, so like, come on. It's amazing. Don't All right, stuck so. In your head. It's not true. It's, it's true. It's stuck in my head now. All righty. So this is what the good people of Nairobi have to say, Adi. You know, sit tight. Sit tight. The social capsule thing is real. This is even Chico. Thank you for the shout out. You know, it's me. This is the conversation we're having. We're coming. Men, don't, don't let Adi gaslight you on that show. Men know what they're doing. Men use friends as social capital. They use women as social capital. They'll only befriend you if you're proxi- if you have close proximity to the women that they want. It's not true. This is not all men. Hopefully, I'm not talking about you as a man. Yeah. But <laughs> Certainly I not. probably am. <laughs> she, she is a man. So Tell me knows. Men tend to befriend you if you have proximity to the women who are the ones that they like. Even if they're not going to try and get something from you at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing Kami said. Most straight friends are going to smash their female friends if they get the chance. Mm. So, yeah. I'm going to stop um, the recording there because there is some cursing in the middle of that <laughs> word. But, <laughs> but Jay, shout out Jay, also shared his two cents and said, men are weird. I wish I could actually say what he said with the curse word, but y'all be weird AF. No, yeah, so for sure they're weird. Though. That's not that's not the discussion. Yeah, we're discussing if men are weird. I mean, it, it's it's related, is it not? It's not. It's related, not related. Please. All right. So, what are your thoughts on what Shiko, Jeremy, and Jason shout out you? I mean, it's it's uh, the, the social. Maybe I don't know. Me, I'm not as I'm not in a I'm not a social guy. Discussion. Like yeah, I'm not in these yeah. scenes. We're discussing so if men are, I don't know how. Yeah, I'm not. Like I just pop in and out. I don't know how it operates like that. <laughs> Seriously, you come me. You don't want Shiko it's true. Okay, so, na- so now you're oh, as, you now that other people I mean, have come to say now you're uh, removing yourself no, from the I'm conversation. Saying, ah, that's not me. That's not me. Like, that's not me. It seems like this is what happening. I'm just saying. It is what happens. Yes. People I hang out with. I see it a lot in your friends. I'm not gonna. Which friends? Not gonna hold you. Well, I think my friends like that. Okay, maybe not your friends anymore like that, but anymore. Yeah, you know how I'm talking about. Anyway, let's, let's not really? inside let's joke talk about here. it. No, let's not talk about it. We on, have to wrap up. You see, up. this is the thing. We want to complain about problems without solution. Do you know what I'm saying? I think the more we highlight the issues, the more we're able to correct ourselves. So as much as like we were even laughing off air that like all of this is pointless. Like <laughs> well, we're just like here flushing out a topic. Well, like why are we even talking it's about this? true. But upon reflection, Adi, like... The more we talk about things, the more like maybe if you're. But do you think people less introspective? Well, that's the point of shows like this to make people introspective. I don't think there's some people that are beyond help. No, yeah, no I'm one. I'm telling you, and I think most of them are in this city, unfortunately. And most of them are straight men, unfortunately. Okay, now how has you even come to that conclusion? Because Tomorrow, you know what we do next week. Tomorrow yeah. we'll come with women's dirty laundry here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how we, that's now the. Let me tell you the height of filth. I'm telling you. Oh my days, Trust guys. Trust me, I'm just saying. 
So my parting shot, considering we've gone 17 minutes over time, but you know, who cares? Uh, my parting shot today would be to the man. If for however, for whatever reason you're actually listening to this and you actually want to change, be mindful of why you approach girls. Women are not there to be used as like a segue into you getting with the, her friends or even to getting her. Like, you know, we actually want genuine friendships. You're and sometimes true human beings. Yes. Yeah, you know hey, hey, we're human beings. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that? Hey. Yeah. So, yeah, um, please be mindful of that. I even saying this, I'm like, y'all are not going to listen. <laughs> so I don't can even. Can I have a parting shot? Of course you can. That was mine. Now it's I agree with everything Come, He says, these are human beings. You need to treat them as such, obviously. Keep your friends as your friends. But if things are tough out here, the streets are cold. Always go to what gives you warmth. You deserve it, king. Come on, bruv. Don't let Kami tell you what you do and don't deserve. Is all I'm saying. Okay, healthy discourse is agreeing to disagree. We've said both our points. I feel very frustrated, but... (laughs) Well, not a backup option anyway. Anyway, I'm not saying you're a backup option. Yes, you are. You're the better option. You know, the thing is, <laughs> you're the better option, but there's too much at risk. Right. You and don't you know, risk. and you know, let me tell you, usually when you're going after girls like that, you don't really care about. Mm-hmm. You don't literally, if if it goes well, good. But if I never see them ag- again, again like or hear from wounds. them, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going after your friends, there's a lot to lose. You know what I mean? I that means we you actually mean. care about you. That is some backward ass <laughs> manipulation. <laughs> I don't that, even know. Truth, I don't even know what, what that was. But you tried it and props for trying. Right. I'm going to end up with a banger. Dimension and fully. Oh, not end fully focus. It's Dimension by Fully Focus and BN. I play this all the time. And the reason I'm playing this um, particular song by this particular artist right now is because he's of close relation to one of the people that share their two cents. Shout out Jeremy. <laughs> This is your uncle fully focused <laughs> playing live on Radio 254. This has been opened up with Kami Mukendia with me, Kami Mukendia, and. It's I, Adi. Yeah. Again. <laughs> hi, hi. It's Adi. Hi. Hey, um, it's me again. So, yeah, guys, it's been real. I'll catch you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. I'm back on 254 Express with Njokia 254. So, I'm actually back to doing shows every day. But for this specific show, you'll see me on Wednesday morning. Same time, same place. Bye. Say bye, Adi. B- bye. Thank you. <laughs> Don't be like Adi. Another dimension. You got me in another dimension.